Ladies and gentlemen, let's crack on with it because I'm Dick Coughlin, the world's gone to shit and I'm here to wipe its arse. And the fappening, as it was so charmingly titled, you know, Celebgate, that's shit. Can we please stop with the gate thing? I, I get, I am sick to my fucking teeth because it, it's not, it's okay, sometimes it's appropriate, but it's got to a point where I see people, the second there's a microscopic tiny little dispute between two non-entities it becomes it becomes a gate it becomes some form of a gate right it's not a fucking gate right celeb gate what does that even mean yeah it's you know it's it's, it's dirty and pervy men looking at sexy ladies knickers that's what you know fapping over the tits of women of naked bodies of women who you know are very attractive who had their photos stolen and, uh, yes, yes, of course, folks, we all know very clearly, yeah, they should have had the photos on there, yeah, 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 okay, good one, yes, that's a great, Let, let's say that one, let's do it, let's state the bleeding obvious, hey, hey, you know you starving people in Ethiopia, do you know what, shouldn't have lived here, yeah, uh, yeah, that's all pretty good, uh, Joseph Fritzl's daughter, <laughs> you shouldn't have gone down the basement to get a fucking wine bottle, should you, you shouldn't have been there, you shouldn't have been there. It's like those people who say that people who have abortions, they go, if you didn't want to have a, if you didn't want a child, you shouldn't have got pregnant. Well, thank you so much, fucking Columbo. But the funny story today, I'm not going to talk about that because we all know that one, but the funny story came and today the Reddit user, which is a, a which is something that I would put slightly lower down than paedophile in terms of things that you would not want to be labelled as. The Reddit user. Is there anything that destroyed me? That I, I you know, it's amazing how the term subreddit can make anything, no matter how horrific it already is, actually worse. You know? The, you know, Nambler re subreddit. It somehow suddenly seems more seedy, doesn't it? The pro-child pornography subreddit. The Jews do we need them subreddit, right? But apparently the guy who got it, who goes by a username, I don't know or care what he is, uh, he apparently the police, uh, the, the press rather, have been obviously you know this has been a big press thing, which is what he wanted. Uh, he wanted the attention, and now he's got it, and now he's complaining that his privacy has been violated. And um, and of course his privacy hasn't really been violated. People have just investigated him, like they do. They've gone to things, gone to found out where he where he goes on the internet, and um, he goes on a he apparently goes on a, on a website for people, a forum for people with asexuality. Yeah. Who the, what, what what do you insult people with there? You can't say you can't say you know cunt whore fag you, you know homo. You can't use anything for dick. It doesn't make any sense. They wouldn't know. I think there's a niche in the market. I mean, pornography is a, is a is a really really overly inflated bubble of a market. But you know, they, why has no one ever com, com, you know come up with asexual porn? You know, it'd be great. You get like a, you have seen we have the the plumber turns up to fix the sink. The woman opens the door. Plumber comes in. The plumber fixes the sink. It's about an hour. The woman sits there reading her book. She gets up, pays him his money, and he goes. And we have the music going. But yes, so to this user, this person who did this, who is now complaining about his privacy being violated, tough fucking titty is what I say to you. Even if your privacy was violated, there is such a thing, my friend, as karmic justice. You know, there is. Well, you know, two wrongs. I mean, people say two wrongs don't make a right, but it fucking feels good, though, doesn't it?